Okay, let's get this party started. It was another hot one here tonight on X Factor. And before you even open your mouth, anybody watching, Nicole made the right choice. She let America decide. Isn't that what you want? Woo, fam, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I am almost first right now from screaming after we got the results. I did not expect this at all. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get into this and tell you what happened on the show. This is the top five results show, and Lenny Kravitz opened up the show with a rock star city life and are you going to go my way, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wrote that he brought the rock star and the light show. I really enjoyed his performance. Then we had the full recap of everything that happened the night before, which I think we could do without, but whatever. And then Steve asked the judges for their highlights. And you know, for all the judges in the last show in the beginning, talking about it was war and they were going to take the gloves off and all this different stuff, you know what happened? They really were supporting all of these artists because they were all bringing their A game. And it showed tonight also, you know, even Simon said that one of his favorite performances was somebody who was not his contestant. It was Chris Renee. So, you know, when it comes down to it and people say, oh, they're doing all this and they hate each other and all this good stuff. No. I think in the end, it comes down, down to them wanting to find the best talent out of everybody there. The person who is going to do the best as an artist and who is going to earn this five million dollars so they showed a little of the backstage preparations that go on you know and this happens in most big shows that are live and it was just very interesting if you can get a chance to watch that especially if you're somebody who wants to be in the business or something you should really make sure to check out that little segment next we came up to the results Steve brought everybody on stage, introduced everybody again, like we don't know them well enough. And first he pronounced Josh Kratchik safe. Then he pronounced Cray Renee safe. Break. We came back from break for some Mary J. Blige. She did need someone from her new album. And let me tell you, I, the first thing I thought is, what is this country song she's singing? <laughs> really, I did. Because it did have that very much country feel and flair. I wouldn't be surprised if the writers were you know mostly wrote country music and it was very nice i wrote it was very touching and i enjoyed it i enjoyed it a lot mary j has been bringing it for a long time and i absolutely loved her she looked fabulous she was performing in front of this big diamond thing with that one effect that i like that looks like they have like big pillars around you or something like that i really like that i, I hope i get to have one of those one day and i thought the song had just a great message i really enjoyed it her new cd my life too is out now so if you haven't bought it already please please go and pick it up uh, she got a standing ovation from the judges, just like Lenny Kravitz did. They both got standing ovations from the judges. Then we went back to the results, and Melanie Amaro was safe. So, we got Rachel Crow and Marcus Canty in the bottom two. So, we on Twitter trying to figure out who is going home, and of course, everybody thought that one person was going home, and everybody was like, oh, if so-and-so goes home, I'm not watching the show again. So, I guess they're going to lose some watchers, right? First up, we had Marcus Canty performing I'm Going Down by Mary J. While she was there, I know she was vibing on it. I know she was loving it. I know he got some props um, behind it. He seemed pretty mad in this performance. I wrote, he did. He seemed like he was like just up said why y'all do this to me again he was he was bringing and i think he was just using what he was feeling at the moment in the song and it worked for me i really enjoyed it it was a little more powerful and a little more gritty than the first time he did the song because remember they've done these songs before because they did their save song yesterday in the performances so i really felt good i thought he sounded good um i i, I didn't think the vocal was as good it was different i would say it was more gritty it was more rough i think the vocals were more polished the first time he did it this time it was just really raw and gritty and it actually worked for this moment in his in his performance. It really did. Next up, Rachel Crow did I'd Rather Go Blind uh, by Eddie James. And let me tell you, I thought it was a great song choice for her to redo. It was one of her best songs for me throughout this competition. She chose it herself and it just showed so much of her depth and her emotion and she and she again she brought it. She was just on the verge of tears the whole time during the song. And again, that worked for the song. So she was actually, I don't know if she's doing it on purpose or if, you know, it's just something that happened, but she was using the emotions that were going on at the moment to propel the song forward. And I really like that. And that's something that 
each of us as performers can do, you know, using what's going on in your life at that moment to, to get across the story or the message of the song that you're performing. I just thought it was her best performance all throughout from the whole competition. And both of them did so well. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna happen. And I actually tweeted, I said, this has to go to deadlock because I don't see them sending either one of them home. So we come up to the votes and LA booted off Rachel. Um, Simon booted off Marcus with a little snide comment that really got on my nerves. He said, I'm sorry, you're going home to Marcus. Paula booted off Marcus and Nicole was inconsolable. She was crying. She was like, I, I can't choose. I can't choose. I've been in this position before and I love you both. So I, that's why I say she made the right decision. She let America decide. She didn't put the, the onus on her shoulders. She said, you know what? They have all voted and everything. People have been buying these records and all that different stuff to, to vote. So she let America decide. Deadlock. It went to deadlock. And Rachel Crow went home. Rachel Crow went home. Marcus Canty is safe once again. Three-time champion. Do you know I was screaming, jumping, hollering. I was so surprised and so excited for Marcus. And one of the reasons I was excited for Marcus is because so many people who have been talking against him to me have been saying, oh, you know, well, if he got the least votes and all this stuff, and the other. But is it possible that every week the person who went home got even less votes than he got? This week, he got more votes than Rachel Crow. We would all think if they didn't go to deadlock that he naturally got the least amount of votes. But he didn't. He did not. America has been voting for Marcus Canty. And please, please ratchet it up, America. Vote for Marcus Canty. Let me tell you, I am team everybody right now because I love them all. Some more than others, but they are all so great. But I'll tell you straight up, Marcus Canty is my favorite. Just is. He can bring that, that gospel flavored soul to back, you know, that old school sound, you know, and he's just, he's just doing his thing. He's a great performer. And I am thanking all of you for voting for Marcus Canty. So that's all I've got. What did you guys think of the results? How did you feel at that moment? You know what? I had out my little spy cam glasses because I was going to have them on while I was watching what was going on at the end, but I forgot all about those glasses sitting right there in front of me. I, I was just so caught up in the moment um, because I am enjoying the show. I am loving the twists and turns, and I am falling in love with several of these artists. So this is Robert Anton here. I am doing a bunch of Christmas music um, and collaborations during this season. So over the next week or two or three, make sure that you please, please, please check back on my channel, this channel, Robert Anton NYC, and my cover channel, It's R Anton, I-T-S-R-A-N-T-O-N. And I, or you can just, you know what, the best thing to do really is to save my most recent videos playlist my recent videos playlist and each time I upload uh, videos I put it into that playlist that way you can just get it and you can watch it from there alright this is Robert Anton once again peace I'm out X Factor congratulations Marcus